So Preston's been playing on this little computer and he typed me a secret message so I have to uh, like scroll down and read it. So it says Preston loves his mom. I'm going to find the down button. So much. Let's see what it says. Uh, she... Hold on. Riley, will you put that? Riley's over there typing on my computer. Okay, anyway, so it says so much she does so much. I think that's much. Yep. For me, I... Okay. You're in the light. Oh, I can't okay. see. I repay her with love. <laughs> and I guess that's it. Enjoy. Well, son. <laughs> Brody's want to play on it. I'm over here editing my video. I've been editing. You can still play. Preston will show you. You're fighting over the computer. It's Riley's little laptop. I've been over here working on the big computer, um, editing videos and stuff. I just got through editing my stockpile or my pantry video. Um, you can play in a minute. He's so sad. Hands up, Riley. <sighs> not a good day. It's not a great weekend. But editing my video, it's like 21 minutes long. Sorry, but I think it was very useful. They've kind of been just fighting this morning. I have not felt good at all. I slept. I didn't even sleep good last night. I can't even call it like slept. I was crowded. That mattress was uncomfortable. I was cold. I was hot. I kept coughing because I've got that little like throat issue thing going on. It was horrible. Just horrible. I finally went to sleep. Ugh. About the time Dale left for work. So that was around like five something when he left. Yeah, and then I woke up at like 7.30, so I didn't even get to sleep very well. It's okay. You have to take turns. You have to take turns, Bubba. Not very good. So I'm tired. It's gloomy outside. I have things that I want to get done today, but I don't know if it's going to get done, to be honest with you. I do know that I have to like pull myself together to do my cooking video. So once I get through editing and posting all my videos, I need to... On the computer, I need to like get some caffeine in me and pull myself together and try to do something. I just don't feel like doing anything today. I just spent like 12 million hours editing videos. Okay, it takes forever. Uh, there's a ghost! <laughs> yeah, in case you guys are wondering why is that here, because you'll probably see it out through the uh, vlog um, for a while. Uh, because we slept in here last night, we were trying to keep the cool air like in this room. It worked, but yeah, I put that up there so if the baby decided to pull on the sheet and it got like holes or rips in it, it's just this one that's not like my good ones and I won't be like, oh! So, anywho, I just put up my pantry one and some people, you guys are going to think like, oh, that's a lot of food. And then some people are going to be like, that's all the food you have. And that's not all the food I have. I have all kinds of junk up there on top of my refrigerator, as you can see. I have a um, snack cabinet. Kind of hard to see because it's dark in here today. But I have a snack cabinet there full of stuff. All kinds of stuff right here in my freezer. Juices. These are great to have, too. Um, for stockpile. Those are great. Frozen burritos, hot dogs, lemonade. Uh vegetables stuff like that ice cream butter frozen biscuits all great stuff to have i have stuff in there you guys don't even want to know what's in there okay <laughs> and then i have my um seasoning cabinet which i have stuff all up there and then above this one i have extra seasonings and like gravy mix and stuff but that's where i keep that stuff and then in this cabinet right here, I have coffee, sugar, which I need to refill my sugar, tea, peanut butter, soy sauce, uh, more pasta, flour, all of that. So, yeah, this is not like that's all the stuff I have. Um, I also have in that microwave cabinet over there my bread and my tortillas. Um, and I have apples and bread over there, but yeah. So, it's not like that's all the food we have, but... I thought I would just share that in case somebody was like, that's all you have? No, it's not. 
and that's more than some. Right now I'm kind of like looking at this headboard and I'm kind of like, hmm, I wonder if I could take this off by myself. Brody needs to reclaim this room, but since the mattress is off since we slept on it last night, that's why I'm kind of like, hmm, I wonder if I could take that off myself. So I might just try to do that and hopefully all will go well. It's not very difficult to take off. I just need to pull it out and it probably needs to be pulled out anyways because I see that Brody's stuff, some stuff underneath his bed. So I think I'm going to try to do that. I was going to do a makeup, um, like tutorial thing. I'm just not really in the mood to put on some makeup right now. I'm just not. You could dress me up. <laughs> Daniel, you could dress me up. So I think that's what we're going to try to, or I'm going to try to do real quick though. Maybe this Dr. Pepper will kick in. I'll be able to get something accomplished today. If not, it's Saturday. Who cares, right? <laughs> for what feels like forever. Oh my gosh. I was back here writing my thank you note to Lisa to Lisa look can I not to Lisa and Chancy. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm so bad at like writing back to people, I know. Especially when it's like what I call snail mail. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's what I call snail mail, which is like, you know, mail that obviously comes in the like PO or the mailbox or whatever. Emails a little bit faster. Um, I of course read and reply unless I have like freak storm or no internet daily um, on YouTube. So if you want like something to get to me fast, either try YouTube or the email. So anyways, I'm sitting back here uh, writing a thank you note. Got a pen on my arm. Um, Anyway, I was just kind of waiting for them to get up because there's not really much I can do in the living room and it's kind of cold in there. <sighs> Froze me out of there and I gave my blanket to the baby so he is napping but um, I was back here messing around in my room and Brody and Riley's room. I took off, uh, I took off their headboard obviously and this is the side of the crib. Um, I couldn't think, I was trying to remember what kind of crib it was, somebody had asked me, um, and I couldn't remember for the life of me, I was like, maybe it's Graco, maybe it's Carter's, I couldn't remember for the life of me, so I actually remembered when I got the crib, I was doing a haul video, it was back when I got, like, my studio lights, and anyways, I, I went back and found the vlog, and it's like a Brookline, um, convertible crib. And I got it on sale for like $144. I think it originally was like $160. So yeah. But um, it turned into, it was like a crib. It turns into um, a toddler bed, a little day bed, and a full size bed. So I could not figure out for the life of me how to get the, the thing to go on there. And so I looked it up and it was like, oh, you have to have these two slats that go on the sides. But there's nothing else. Like, nothing holds the middle up with the box springs and stuff. And I was like, uh, that doesn't seem very, like, safe or secure. So, anyways, I just left it there. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to let Dale take a look at it. And I just push the bed back. Um, we'll put his mattress back when, either this evening or when we decide to get the, um, um, the AC or whatever. And I took out this headboard. And this is the one that I've been, like, <laughs> talking about nonstop. Um, but here's a little bit better view of it. Yeah, totally ninja turtle on the floor. But that's what it looks like. That's what was attached to the bed frame. And that's what I'm saying. We will have to just move um, these right here over. And it should be plenty long enough. Um, we made this. I have a video on my channel um, of how we did this. It was pretty easy. Um, just took a little bit of time and patience. And um, I did not show on the channel... I believe me putting in these because I did put these in later. I was waiting. They only had like two packages at the store and they needed more than two packages. Um, but anyways, uh, I put these in by hand. And yes, by all means, they are not perfect. But holy crud. If you've tried ever to 
put those on a headboard, a chair, whatever, you know that that's hard. That was so hard. I bought like 10 packages. I think I only ended up using like six. So I have like four or five left in a laundry room. I keep thinking, I need to do something with those. And I might, I might try to do something uh, with those soon. But um, I was hoping Dale would get off early so he could help me with the headboard because it's really easy. All we have to do is just move it down and then screw it there. And then the dr the holes are already drilled and just put it onto this bed. But looks like they're going to have to work until 6, maybe later. So, very sad. I'm just kind of waiting for the kids to wake up. We have not really done anything today. And I know I'm like talking, rambling on. But we haven't really done anything today. I mean... They hadn't really wanted to do anything, and then I'm kind of like, well, yeah, it's Saturday, you know, I mean, I'm not going to spend my whole day working. I mean, I was going to do, like, a makeup video, and then I just didn't want to put on makeup, which, I mean, I love makeup, but I just didn't want to put on makeup, and so I decided that I would just do my makeup one uh, tomorrow, and I'll just do the cooking one later, so I'm trying to get in the bath later and actually take a little bit of time to shave my legs. I actually washed my hair last night, and I went to bed with it wet so it looks kind of crazy but I actually washed my hair last night so I'll try to shave my legs tonight so I can feel ladylike again hopefully but these kids need to hurry up and wake up though because I can't stand back here forever being impatient. I'm going to show you guys a little sneaky peek of the video I'm working on. I know you guys are like what you didn't have a makeup on? Yeah don't ask. I'll do the intro part tomorrow because you don't really see my face I'm obviously making the meal but anyways this is what it looks like. How pretty is that? Don't even look at that. That like totally caved in, but it's fine. <laughs> That's what it looks like, though. Pretty good, huh? Can I wait to eat that? I'm about to wrap it up in some foil and throw it in the oven for like 25 to 30 minutes. So it should be should be done. Um, a little bit before 5:30, <sighs> and then we'll be able to chow down. I'm hoping. I was hoping Dale would get off a little bit earlier so he could come home. Um, and have dinner, but if not, I'll just, I guess, take some pictures and send it to them. But, anyways, that's all my little sneaky peek for my Disney video. You guys will have to wait until probably next week to see it, though. So, sorry. Mm. And that's what it looks like. Well, Pretty good, if I must say so myself. The kids are unsure about it. <laughs> Riley's like, I don't care. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like, though. Give you a little sneaky peek. And that's what it looks like. I'm saving that one for Dale. And then this one is just if anybody wants extras. But pretty good. Cannot wait to eat it. It's going to be awesome. We're watching um, Pocahontas right now. It's on TV and it's pouring down rain. I call it um, doing research but Dell looks like he's gonna have to work even later so oh well it's okay I'm gonna eat dinner do the dessert probably go wash and try to put some more of my face cream on to kind of heal this up and then I think we're just gonna veg out in front of the TV and the AC because it's raining nothing else to do it's Saturday Sounds like a plan to me. So I'll let you guys know after I eat how this tastes. We just popped our dessert in the oven there. Making dessert. Still waiting for Dale to get home. He was asking me if any Netflix movies um, came today. Gone Girl came yesterday. But uh, I did. I debated whether or not to like even talk about this or not. But, so we watched Fifty Shades of Grey last night. I've never read the book. i just seen the previews. And I was like, hmm, my sister went and seen it at theaters. You know, everybody has their different opinions on it. But I debated whether or not to even talk about this. So, I, I believe it to be funny. Some people may not. But, anyway, so last night we watched it. It's like an over two hour movie long. Um, long movie. <laughs> two hour, over two hours long. Anyway, so I asked Della, I was like, so what did you think about it? And he said, I just have one question. And I'm like, okay. And he said, how come when I try to zip tie you last year to the bed, you start screwing at me and calling me crazy? But he does it, and it's okay. It's considered art. He's like, a poor man does it. We're on America's Most Wanted. A billionaire does it, and they make movies about him. I was like, oh my god. Like, really? I thought he was going to say something like, oh, it was great, you know, or, or it was okay, or that's not really my thing, or, you know, 
something. No, he's just wondering about why I didn't want him to zip tie me to the bed. Who wanted to be zip tied to a bed? I questioned some of that stuff in the movie. I was like, why does he want to like do that stuff to her? I'm like all into that whole like trying to figure out everybody's mind type thing. I swear. Ugh. But I didn't know if I wanted to say anything about it last night or let it go because it's a little bit TMI. But I think everybody in their adult life has got some funny intimate story and that you, you at least have one. There's at least one where you've either done fell off the bed, something funny's done happened to you, something. So I don't know, that's pretty funny though. I think I want to read the book though. I really think I want to read the book. I cannot wait for the other movies. I even looked up to see if they're gonna have any, like any more movies. They are. It's like supposed to be 2017. So I guess we'll have to wait. And that is our dessert. Doesn't look really good. Apple stuffed with some ice cream. Mm. They seem to be liking it. <laughs> Preston's uh, ate all his ice cream out and like, do I eat the apple? No, you just like have an apple. What the heck? Yes, you eat the apple. <sighs> He's done the same thing. My goodness. Ah, <sighs> children. This is Preston, your local, your local news guy, and. It's going to be poorly cloudy with a chance of stuff. That was your forecast for today. What's this? Oh no, him tilled you. I didn't even He's know. He's playing uh, know. Mortal Kombat with Daniel over there. Excuse their messy room. They were in here playing as I was recording my Disney video. That wasn't a Disney video. Yeah, that was my Why Disney one. Uh, well, now everybody knows. Thanks. I hadn't yet announced it. Thanks a lot, Dweeb. You mean? <laughs> He's like, scratch that. I didn't it's say poison. that. Oh, it's poison. That's definitely poison. <laughs> <laughs> Too much okay. TV. Play! Push start. Or you gotta push start. Actually, that's already bad. <laughs> oh, you didn't like it? He got you cold. Got Dale's home. He's in the Whoa. shower. Well, he's just getting out of the shower. Oh, it was raining a little bit. It's not now. It was. I was kind of hoping it would rain like all I night. Out. I don't know if I'm gonna sleep in the living room again tonight or if I'm just gonna like sleep in the living room with us. Sleep in my room because I did not sleep. We're gonna watch a family movie together. Yeah, we're gonna watch Pirates of the Caribbean. No, we're not. Or like whatever movie you want. We're gonna watch a family movie on Netflix. I don't know what we're gonna do. Oh no, this is poison. I don't think it's poisonous. I think you're good. Oh, it's <laughs> He's been watching that. Uh, wait, I think it's for a car or something. Yep. Yeah, it's for, it's for a car. Whatever that guy gets bit by a snake. And he's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So he goes, jumps in his car, goes down like the river, asks these, like, I guess they're fishermen. And the guy says something about it's not poisonous. And it's in a different language. And he's like, oh my gosh, it's poisonous. And the guy says, it's not poisonous. And he's like, that's what I was afraid of, it's poisonous. And then he's sitting around the campfire, he's like, I'm like a mutant. <laughs> that's that's so Daniel. That is so Daniel. Listen. Got stung one time by a bee, and he was like, "Somebody, over. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not gonna make it." I didn't say I was, I <laughs> he, say dying. he did say he yes, was he dying. We had to give him Butterfinger ice cream to calm him down. Yeah. <laughs> and then he stepped on something in the living room floor. It was. A needle. I, it was a needle. It dropped out of a sewing kit or whatever. And he dad was, was sewing. The dad was sewing ah, the part like, of his mind. foot right to the floor. Yo, <laughs> yeah, Dell had a hole in his shorts too. He was begging me to sew it. And I was like, no, they're just tore up. Like, throw them away. Like, they were so bad. Yeah, and so he was like, I'm just going to do it. So he ended up sewing the butt part to the front <laughs> yeah. anyways but the needle somehow dropped out daniel stepped on it and he was screaming oh my god somebody help me help me he just kept screaming it was so dramatic ah. he's like very dramatic yeah. about stuff yes uh i can't read it in the dark but yes it is very beautiful it says something about suey pass me brody munchy <laughs> No, That's what we got to say about it's that. It's a good and message. Just, Brody, yeah. Mom, I'll yeah, play the Wii. Oh, okay. Yeah? Mom, you uh, know what Shang Tsung nah, Tsung is? Nah, not tonight. What, bud? Um, he's a skeleton. Shang Tsung is. Shang Tsung is. Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung, he's Bye. a skeleton. Wait, also, also, Scorpion, he's dead. He's not alive. Okie doke. 
I'm well, not sure. Well, know that people. Cool. All right, here's a better view of the back of my headboard. Now, if you wanted to put a uh, hard piece of cardboard or something on the back of that before you put these on there, you totally could. You could even stain these, paint them, whatever. But we chose to just leave ours like this um, just for this reason exactly. So, as you can tell, it is just a piece of wood that we cut out our shape in. And we put some uh, foam on the other side and put something to keep it from moving and then we put some of this burlap fabric and stapled it all like this all the way around cut all the excess off we could have just left the excess and kind of went up with it but i didn't want to do that to be honest i just didn't and we were going to put a hard piece of cardboard um or a hard piece of something some type of covering over it but we didn't just because i wasn't sure if i wanted to keep this type of fabric or not and then of course he cut it off and measured it like so and screwed it onto there and we put these to keep it from rubbing um the wall and bouncing and hitting the wall so you wouldn't hear like a headboard hitting the wall but that's what it looks like so all we have to do now is like i stated earlier take these right here and move it right there and it should fit um our bed in the bedroom so hopefully it's just a quick little job he's kind of like fussing at me like why didn't you wait and take it off when I was him and all that so he's not too happy about that but hey I wanna I, I'll do what I want to do so yeah my room's like tore apart looks bad probably won't be sleeping up in here right see <laughs> it's all tore apart yep that's what my bed looks like my bed frame, anyways. Yep. <laughs> Box full of purses, belts, bathing suits, bras, empty shoe box because the kids uh, for school always need a shoe box. My boots um, that I got for Mother's Day are in there, and my Mother's Day cards are over there. So, hopefully, it'll be looking back to normal and beautiful tomorrow. I'll show you guys if we get it on tonight. I don't know. Late night projects. It's like 8.52. <laughs> We're reconstructing the bed. <laughs> it's all good. He only, would you only had to move it down just a little bit? Is that what you had to do? Mm -hmm. We modify the whole uh, agile center of the P.O.s and do about the Kusa. An obtuse and a rectuse. I hope you know what that means. Else yeah, what if somebody watching this, it's something really horrible. They say you just...